brush lettering, illustration, bullet journaling, note taking. These pens are talked about a lot in those spaces, but are they really worth the hype? Stick around for my honest take of these trendy markers to see if they're worth adding to your toolkit. Hey you, I'm sure at some point or another you have come across these famous Tombow dual brush pens. These big colorful markers are everywhere nowadays. Uh, even though when I started lettering almost a decade ago, they were only really in select craft stores. But I'm sure you have seen them and wondered, are they worth the price? Before you fork over your cash for these beauties, let's go ahead and talk about the pros and the cons to see if a set of Tombow dual brush pens is right for you. All right, let's do this. Before we get into the pros and cons, let's bust these out for a second so you can see them in action. As you can see, these pens are a little bit bigger than your standard pen, measuring in at about seven and a half inches, where your standard pen is going to be about five and a half inches. The barrel is mostly black with some white labeling, and there is a colorful cap indicating the color of the pen. And since it's a dual brush pen, let's take a look at the two different tips. We have the brush tip over here, and on the other end is a bullet tip. The brush tip is made out of strong nylon fibers, which help it be nice and flexible and durable while you're using it for things like brush lettering. But it doesn't have individual bristles like you'd find on a actual paintbrush. Most sets of Tombow dual brush pens will come with a colorless blender like this one, which you can use to blend the water-based ink from one color to another very smoothly. Now let's talk about the pros of these markers. First, I love the fact that there are two tips to these markers. I use the brush tip way more often than the bullet tip, but I do really enjoy having the bullet tip as an option because it just opens up a lot of opportunities. Another thing I love about Tombow dual brush pens is how many colors they have available. Do I need all the colors? No, but I do love knowing that there's tons of options to choose from whenever I'm shopping and adding to my collection. Another thing I love is that the brush tip is super great for beginner letterers. It's just got such a nice texture with the nylon tip and it's really, really resilient, so you don't need to worry about accidentally damaging it while you're learning. In fact, I always recommend Tombow dual brush pens for new letterers. While I personally don't use the colorless blenders that often, it is a really nice pro for the people who want that kind of option on the table. The colorless blenders with the water-based ink makes it easy to achieve smooth transitions and get some really cool effects. And because the ink is water-based, you can use a paintbrush with clean water to also get some really cool blending. Last but not least, these pens are pretty damn durable. I have had some of these pens for going on eight years now and use them quite regularly. I gotta say, they stand up to the test of time. Sure, after a while, the tips can maybe get a little bit fuzzy or ragged, and the ink can maybe start to get a little bit more scratchy, but in all that time, I've never had a pen completely dry up on me, which I think is pretty impressive. Hey you, I just wanna take a quick break to tell you a little bit about what we're doing here at Foxy. Let me ask you something. Do you have a ton of creative energy, but you don't really know how to channel it? Do you long for a life spending time doing the things that you love? I used to struggle immensely with my creative journey. When I was a kid, I was always up to some artistic nonsense. I was always full of creative zest, but somewhere along the line, I grew up and it's like I ran out of gas in my tank. It felt like I didn't have time or I couldn't or I shouldn't do all of these creative things. I battled with this artistic rut for years before I finally climbed out. Now, it's my goal to help as many people as possible overcome these same obstacles. Because making art and being creative is so good for your mental and physical health. And I don't need to tell you that being in a creative rut sucks. That is where Foxy comes in. Foxy is an online art learning platform designed to help you reignite your passion and get back in the game. With 73 courses and counting on subjects like lettering, watercoloring, journaling, drawing, and more, there are tons of ways for you to spark your curiosity and reignite your passion. 
In fact, we just revamped the massive Watercolor Academy that's designed to help transition students through that awkward beginner stage and turn them into practiced painters. And we're currently working on a similar project, the Modern Lettering Academy, and we could not be more excited. Foxy is dedicated to helping you find your creative spark and fall in love with the arts again, even if it has been years and years since you picked up a brush, or in this case, a brush pen. Click the link below or visit the website if you're ready to join Foxy today and unleash your creativity. Because at the end of the day, your creativity matters. Okay, back to the video. Now, let's talk about cons. These pens are large. While that might not be a bother for some people, and while I think it makes a great grip for beginners to learn lettering with, it does mean that they're a little bit more unruly in tight spaces, like on airplanes for example, and that they don't always fit in standard size pen pouches. One tiny gripe that I have is that the tip texture can vary quite a lot from one pen to the next, and that's right out of the box. And what I mean by that is that sometimes one of these pens will have a tip that's more snappy and sharp, and other pens might have a tip that's a little bit more soft and squishy. That's not really a huge deal, but it can be a little bit jarring when you're switching from one color to another and you have to suddenly adjust for the tip texture. Water-based ink might have some pros, but it does have some drawbacks. So these pens are not suitable for all projects. If you are gonna be doing any kind of work that runs the risk of getting wet, such as a card or an envelope, for example, you might not wanna use these pens because water could easily ruin your beautiful work. One final complaint that I have is that Tombow dual brush pens are not refillable. That's pretty common in today's world, but personally, I prefer pens that you can have the option of refilling because it's a little bit more environmentally friendly and it just means that you get more bang for your buck. So when these dry out, they're trash. Would I recommend these pens? Absolutely, yes I would. Tombow dual brush pens may not be perfect, but they are spectacularly useful for letterers, artists, and illustrators of all kinds. So if you're wanting to jump into brush lettering and you're looking for a brush pen, look no further. I've been using the dual brush pens for coming up on a decade now, and I'm not looking to give up on them anytime soon. So I hope you found this review helpful as you're exploring your different art supplies. Let me know what you want me to review next in the comments down below. And as always, like, share, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Catch you next time.